Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm going to be doing a video where I show you exactly how I take beef liver, all the details. This was a requested video from quite a few of you actually who wanted to see the exact process and everything that I do when I take raw beef liver. So let me show you exactly what I do in all the details. So when I buy my beef liver, I get it along with my beef. When I get half of a beef, I ask for all the liver, of course, all the organ meats and everything extra. And so it comes in packages like this. So it's chunks cut like this and then sliced like three layers thick. So then what I do is I will put a big frozen package like this into my refrigerator and let it thaw until it's most of the way thawed, but not quite. That way I can easily still cut it with my knife, but it's not completely thawed and slippery. So when I first started taking raw beef liver, I used to cut it up into little pill sizes, but I found out that if you try to take those frozen, they're pretty hard on your throat and they can be kind of difficult to swallow. So what I ended up doing to get around that was pretty much thawing them completely and then swallowing them. So then I thought, well, why am I cutting them all up into perfect little frozen pill sizes if I'm just gonna end up, you know, taking it thawed? So I found this way, which is much easier. So I cut the liver. So see how I was talking about it comes in the slices. So that I just take those slices in that bigger package apart and cut them into whatever amount I wanna take each time. So for me, it's, you know, I'll take one or two of these a day. Um, I, I usually go by like my palm size is a good way. Sometimes you feel like more or less though, so I always listen to that. But anyway, I cut it into these and I freeze them on a piece of parchment paper on a, a pan in the freezer. And then every day, whenever I wanna take one, then I just get myself a little glass container and then I'll put a piece of liver in there and then I will just fill let's see if I can do this with one hand I will just fill the little container up with water to cover and see how that is in there um, it'll be submerged as it thaws and then if I know I'm going to take it within, you know, like 20 or 30 minutes. I'll actually just leave it on the counter to thaw. Liver thaws pretty quickly. And then if I know it's gonna be a little while, I'll just put it in the refrigerator and let it thaw that way. Okay, so when it is completely defrosted and nice and soft, then I take it over to my cutting board. And then this is where I'll actually do the cutting into little pill sizes. So, you know, nothing too exact, just something small enough that I know I can swallow easily. So I just go for the little pill size and then it's time to swallow them. So when I first started doing this, I would do a few at a time, like two or three. I've done it so many times now. I usually try to do as many as I can at once. <laughs> so this pile I'll probably take in, I would say probably two swallows. So what I do is I just grab, and I'm gonna show you this in a second, but first I'm just gonna explain it. So I just grab a little handful of how many I want. I run it under some water first, just because, I don't know, there's something, it just, I don't know, it just, I just do. I think it comes from when I used to thaw them underwater, when I used to try to make the pill sizes frozen and then I would need to thaw them before I could take them. So I think it's a habit left over from that. But for some reason it just feels more doable if I first rinse them in water right before putting them in my mouth. So I do that. And then I quickly take a drink from my water and swallow them right down. 
So let me show you. I think I forgot to say that I do take a little sip of water right before I put the beef liver into my mouth and swallow it, so I do do that. Okay, I hope that you found that interesting and hopefully helpful to see exactly how I take the raw beef liver. If you've never done this before, it probably seems pretty weird, but once you've tried it and you've, you've experienced those real usable B vitamins and all those nutrients that are in the liver, then there's no going back and you see that raw liver sitting there and your body's like, I need that. You don't know what it's like until you've tried it. So if you were hoping to try it and wanted to see exactly how I do it, hopefully that was really helpful. And if you've already been trying it and hopefully you got some new tips on maybe some things to try. Anyway, if you have more video ideas for what you'd like me to do videos on, please leave me a comment down below and let me know. I always love getting video topic ideas. So if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.